Welcome back to Sanctu Sang TV. I'm your host B, and we are still here chopping it up with Y Breezy. Y Breezy. Breezy Breezy. Why be easy? Look, at all the time. and tell me about your name. We're going to go right yeah, into it. So yeah. we know that there was some confusion with your name. Originally, yeah. you were called? Yellow Boy. Yellow Boy. Yes. And unfortunately, you had to switch that up yeah, because... Yeah, switched it up. It was a lot of confusion was going on with the um, the name Yellow Boy. So I had to be more different. I'm all about different things. You know, I like to be different. Um, I like to stand out as an artist. You know what I mean? So um, I was going by Yellow Boy like four years ago. Change the name to Wabizi. You in the club chopping it up, and yeah. then all of a sudden, it was a guy, you know, a guy named Spectacular. You guys already know about Spectacular. Um, the former Pretty Ricky, the um, the Pretty Ricky guys. Um, he was going by Spectacular. He switched the name to Yellow Boy, and it just was starting a lot of confusion right, going on. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I didn't like it because I was in the club one time, and a guy he came up to me saying, "What's up, Spectacular? No, Yellow Boy." So I'm thinking he know me. Right. But the whole time he thinking I'm spectacular. Ugh. He was like, we need to get back in the studio and start, you know, doing more um, slow songs. You know, we need to <laughs> get back in the song and, you know, make some hits. Slow I'm songs. I'm like, what? Slow songs? <laughs> I, I don't do that type of party, man. I don't party like that. You know what I mean? I'm hip hop. That's what I do. You know what I mean? So you put two and two together and yeah. realized. And I okay, realized because this guy was partying with me for like three hours. You know what I mean? Mm. Popping champagne, thinking it's cool. <laughs> like I'm spectacular. I'm not spectacular. On bro. his tab? Yes, it was on his. Not oh, mine. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so how how did you get started? You started way back when? I started um, seven years ago. Seven years ago. Yeah. My, my brother, um, Young Merc, um, he told me I should do music. I never thought about it. I used to be a fan of him more mm -hmm. than I was a fan of myself. You know. And um, he was he was um, he was telling me I have the image for it, you know what I mean? And I was like, Nah, I ain't got no image for that. I don't know how to do no music. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Man, let me just write something for you one time, and see how I go. So my first recording session was seven years ago. Mm -hmm. I got in the booth. I was shy. I was worried about what people thinking about me instead of uh, me just doing it myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, I got in the studio session. I, man, I froze. Oh, I didn't really? know what to say. I was just like, bro, I, I can't do it. Interesting. It, it wasn't, it, was, it didn't come out how I hero Yes. Stories about how I went in and I blazed. And I'm, oh, Man. okay, for the first time, we have a real story. Okay. I, was, I was shy. I was <laughs> nervous. I was just like, dang, they probably think I'm trash. <laughs> <laughs> so but you I, definitely redeemed yourself. Yeah. Seven years forward. Yeah. And I, I create have. my own brand. You know, I, I create my own image. You know what I mean? And now I'm just, you know, I'm myself now. I found myself as an artist, you know, seven years ago now. You know what I'm saying? So right. I'm here. So what advice can you give up and coming artists? There's keep, a lot that I could find in I'm that I'm going to say keep going. Don't stop. You know what I mean? Don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. You know what I mean? Just keep striving for greatness. You know, be great for whatever you do, no matter what it is. You know what I mean? Playing soccer, football, anything. You know what I mean? Just be great for what you're doing. Be G. Yes. And then be yourself. Yes, be yourself. Because oftentimes you... You have clouded judgment because mm -hmm. you're trying to impress and be like everyone else, mm -hmm. and you don't know what others are thinking about you. And yeah. then, of course, I, I think people get they mess up. They mess themselves up when they they worry about what others thinking. Yes. You know, they like, damn, this person might think I don't sound good. Right. You know what I mean? Instead of just doing it. So let so so tell me about the trials and tribulations and the efforts that you put into your cover. Oh, the cover! I had I had about four covers for it. Four. Yeah, and the tape supposed to drop two years ago. No remorse was supposed to drop two years ago. Okay. Yeah, so I wasn't ready. You know what I mean? My marketing manager told me I wasn't ready. It's and a you team. Felt it's like a you yeah. Ready. I felt it. You know what I mean? And it just, I had like four covers. The first cover I had. You know what I mean? I shot. Um, we shot it. Well, I shot the first cover with Oniko, and the cover was a good cover. You know what I mean? But I I released the cover like two years ago. Now I'm getting ready to release the project now. So right. the cover was two years ago. I'm like, man, so you know what? I need a, it's outdated. time for a new, yeah, it's, it's time for a new one. Let's upgrade it. Okay. You know what I mean? So we did the new cover and um, I finally found the cover I want for it now. Nice. Yeah. So with that, putting all the pieces together, you know that you just, you know what you want. Yeah. You know what you like. Yes. And you like what you like. Facts. Hey, we're here with Why? Why Beasy. Why Beasy. No remorse, we'll be no back. regrets. No remorse, no regrets. We'll Let's be back it. in just a few. Thanks to Sync TV. BG. Keep it locked.